Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to integrate ClickUp with GitHub. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to sign in using your credentials. But if this is your first time here in GitHub, you might want to click on the create an account button. And then all you're going to do is enter your email. Follow the on-screen instructions and you're all set. And the next thing we need to do now is to log into our ClickCap account right here. Log in using your credentials or if this is again your first time here, you might want to click on the sign in with Google to simplify the overall process. And once you've done that, integrating ClickUp with GitHub can streamline your project management and development workflows. Now here, ClickUp offers a native integration with GitHub, allowing you to link tasks, issues, and projects between the two platforms. Now, the best uh, or the simplest way to do that is just go here at the uh, left side of your dashboard and then here, just click on integrations. All right. And after that, as you can see, you'll need gonna do is click on the go to app center and from here well it's already here basically because it's one of the favorite and most popular integrations here in ClickUp just you know simply click on github and from here obviously you need to click on the connect button but remember these are some of the information you need to understand before you dive in into the seamless connection you can create branches and pull requests you can open github or create new github issue right create new github gist create new github branch or create new github pull request all they're gonna do is click on connect and a new window will pop up right here and once you've done that all you're gonna do is click on save and follow the on-screen sessions and you're all set. Now, one of the uh, other methods that we know integrating GitHub and ClickUp is a platform called Zapier. Now, if you have an account here, you can create integrations between ClickUp and GitHub to automate any workflow and have an endless possibilities from task changes to create pull requests to new list and create comment all they're gonna do is click on the orange button here so you can connect these apps and once you've done that what we need to do is to create our zap but make sure you have accounts on clickup github and zapier now here is our first zap matter of fact you can rename the zap here and then after logging in you need to choose a trigger app which is going to be our clickup and after that, you choose the trigger event that will initiate the integration right here. For example, you can select task created right here. Choose an event, maybe a new task for ClickUp. Now, after that, you need to set up the trigger, which is going to be the GitHub. Click on that and you choose an event or an action. And that's going to be um, create an issue. All right. And all I'm going to do is from here, add a step. Or choose an action and once you've done that click on the authenticate this app so that you can relax it back because zapier will do the work for you and another method that we know is using the uh, platform called unido from here you can sync updates between clickup and github with unido because it lets it turn clickup tasks into github issues and vice versa with automated two-way updates and all they're gonna do if you want to connect ClickUp and GitHub with automated updates, say for example, when a task is found in ClickUp, it can automatically create an issue in GitHub and keep both in sync. And when an issue is found in GitHub, create a task in ClickUp and keep both in sync. And all they're going to do is click on the sign up button if you're more interested. All right. And if by any chance you are encountering any problems integrating your ClickCap account with a GitHub, you might want to go here in the help section and look for the contact support. They'll be more than glad to assist you along the way. You can simply go to an automated bot or go to the sections 
whichever applies. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.